I present to you this evening for induction into the Sports Hall of Fame, Mr. Phil Young from Westfield, New York. Thanks for being here tonight. It's my honor and privilege to be standing here tonight to be inducted into the Chautauqua Sports Hall of Fame and to be included with the other honored guests and past inductees. First of all, I'd like to thank Chip Johnson, Banquet Chairman. I'd like to thank his committee for organizing this magnificent event and for nominating me to be a member of this class. I would also like to thank Russ Eklund for calling me when I was visiting my family in Bozeman, Montana to give me the great news. For once, I was speechless. <laughs> I was able to share my good news with my daughter, Heather, her husband and three boys, and our son, Kevin, who lives there as well. Living so far away, Heather and her family are unable to be here tonight. But Kevin was able to be here to share in this honor. Next, I wouldn't be here tonight if it weren't for the love and support of my family, most of which are here tonight. My wife, Linda, daughters, Diane and Debbie, Lisa, their husbands and friends, my grandson, Gregory, who attends Canisius College, and my granddaughter, Madison, who will be attending St. Bonaventure next fall and wants to be a lawyer. Last but not least, I want to thank my dad and my brother, Bob, who were the ones who practiced with me and encouraged me as a young boy. They saw that excelling in sports came very natural to me. At the age of 15, I was asked by the Westfield Moose to be a backup catcher for the semi-pro championship. So I packed my bags. My brother wrote my parents a note saying, we went to Wichita, Kansas. We'll be back in two weeks. Can you imagine what they thought? <laughs> Prior to graduation from Mayville Central School, I held the school basketball record for scoring over 1,100 points and was also selected to the all-star teams for football, basketball, and baseball for three years in a row. All this work paid off when I was offered a full athletic scholarship to Syracuse University, Ithaca, and Colgate to play baseball. Ultimately, I coached and went to Syracuse University. Uh, my principal was the one that lured me to there. Upon graduation, I signed a professional baseball contract with the Philadelphia Phillies, and I also was contacted by the New York Yankees. And by the way, they're my favorite team. <laughs> and they sent me to Salt Lake City, Utah, in Brunswick, Georgia for three years. At this time, I had the honor of being a catcher for Dallas Green, who later played professional and major B league baseball and also was the manager for the Phillies in the World Series. Three years later, I was released and took a teaching job in Long Lake, New York. It was a small school of only 400 students. I was a jack of all trades, as not only taught all the physics classes for boys and girls, I also coached the sports and including cheerleading, of all things. I even drove the school bus to and from the games. <laughs> While we played baseball, I noticed that on the field beside the lake that was beside our playing field, there was a canoe with a paddle in it. So I said to my manager, I said, what's that for? And he says, well, when the foul balls go over in the lake, I get in the canoe and get the baseball before it sinks. <laughs> that shows you how much money we had in the budget. <laughs> okay. After two years in Long Lake, I began my career at Westfield Academy, where I taught phys ed for 34 years, coached many of the sport teams. I was also the athletic director for five years and the head of the phys ed department nearly in my entire life there. I'm blessed to have such a wonderful career at Westfield, where I worked with so many other talented teachers. And I'm honored to have the opportunity to teach and coach for so many generations of smart, young students. As a teacher, I can only hope that I had a positive impact on their lives, as they had such a positive influence on me. 
With that, I thank you all again for recognizing me with this incredible award. Serving my community has been a joy and privilege that I am grateful for every single day. I wouldn't be standing here tonight if it weren't for all the amazing people of my life. And in closing, I want to tell you, if you're ever up to Chautauqua Institution at the amphitheater, I'm a volunteer usher, and I will be there for 51 years this year. Thank you, and good night. So, Phil, can we get in free if we mention your name? Sure. <laughs> Congratulations, Phil. Congratulations, Phil. Thank you. Thank you.